This is Vanessa Joy here at Adorama. We're going live to talk to you about speed posing. It is freezing here in New York City, but I'm without a coat so I can, you know, feel my bride's pain. <laughs> Let me talk to you about what we're going to shoot with because it is important to speed posing to talk about the kind of gear, especially since it's about sunset right now. It's kind of dark in here. Not easy to eat your hair, not easy to focus, and not easy uh, to work in the dark. So I'm working with the Canon 1DX Mark II, but what's making this really amazing is the 85. This is the new 85 1.4 that has image stabilization in it. My settings, since you're already there, all right, my settings are as down as low as 1 60th on the shutter, which the Im image stabilization here makes that possible because I am super shaky. We're down at 2.0 on my aperture. ISO is at 2000 and I always manually dial in my white balance. So I know that with this camera, I can go to ISO 2000. It's going to be clean. It's going to be great. Not going to have any problems. But what we're talking about today is speed posing. So. Here's what this is. You're, you're at a wedding. Maybe you're at a wedding and it's freezing outside like it is right now. And you have to shoot all these photos of your bride and groom, the bridal portraits, the bridal party, the families, whatever it is, and you have to do it fast. Or maybe hair and makeup ran late because that never happens. And you have to just do things really quickly. Or maybe there's traffic or whatever it is. I don't care if you normally plan for three hours for a photo session, you just don't get it most of the time. So. What I want to teach you is how to do a bride and groom photo session as fast as humanly possible because a lot of times that's all you get. So here we go. First thing you want to do is start off with your bride and groom doing something really natural because yes, we have to get this done fast, but we also have to connect with our clients as quickly as possible. Now, these two, these two guys I just met with. So this is a really good example of having to connect with them and get them to be natural as fast as we can. First thing I want to do is just something really easy, get my settings, get to where I need to be, let them be as far away from the camera as possible because this thing's a beast. It's intimidating and when it's right in your face at the beginning of a photo session, it's not going to make them feel super comfy. All right, let's turn them around before they walk away. All right, guys. So turn around. Now this time you're going to walk back at me, but you're going to be super flirty with Jordan like it's your first date. So let me show you what I mean. And this is good if you have an assistant for this too. <laughs> Can I flirt with you for a minute? <laughs> so you're gonna hold his hand. You're gonna come like in like this, maybe lean on him a little bit, maybe snuzzle up. Just be super, super cute, flirty, walk really slow. And Jordan, you just eat it up. And you can put that other hand in your pant pocket, I think too. Yeah, all right, so go ahead. Walk towards me and flirt it up. <laughs> it's really cute. Love that, guys. Oh, so adorable. I love that you brought him in nice and close. Look at each other there. And stay right there. That's a perfect spot for you. So while they're walking, keep positive affirmations. So keep making sure that you're saying yes, and that's great and beautiful and perfect and whatever it is so that they feel good about it. The second they feel good about the pictures, the better they're going to look. I am shaking. It's so cold. So I know my bride is too. All right. Now we can get closer. I love what you're doing right there. I love how you're holding your waist. You, yeah. Throw. I'm just going to throw a little light. Uh, come the opposite side. Oh, no. You're, you guys are good. So at least come the opposite yeah. side. And we're going to come closer, closer, closer. And a little bit further down. Uh, right there. See it? Yep. All right. It might knock you over. So again, we're going to start here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do all their traditional photos like that. I call it the quick six. So here's what it is. <laughs> are you guys are going to look at me, look at each other, go nose to nose, cute, and stay there going nose to nose. Go ahead, just look at each other. And Jordan, look like, look down at her nostril and find like a really your favorite nose hair. There it is. <laughs> Love that. He's, I don't have nose hairs. And then go ahead and look at me. <laughs> Cute. Perfectly natural smile. All right, let me show you what that quick six was. So at any point, if you feel like your clients are ready for it, make jokes like that. Get a ton of different expressions, even if you're in the middle of doing something. So let me show you what I got. First, they were walking away. You want to hear? I'll come closer. You can tap. There you go. 
So first they were just walking away, then they walked towards us. And now this is where I started the traditional pictures. So we got the two of them looking at each other. And we're looking at me, looking at each other, maybe a kiss, maybe nose to nose. Then you flip, do the same thing close up. Looking at each other, maybe a little joke, and then looking at the camera. Now all of my traditional pictures are done. They're just done. So that took two seconds. Now let's do some stuff that's a little bit more creative. There are two things that I'm going to do. One, I'm gonna put them into pose. It's kind of natural. They're gonna be snuggling in towards each other. And then I'm going to do what I call circles. So there are three different kinds of circles, head circles, crop circles, and body circles. And these are keys to doing a lot of poses really, really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna change my lens too. Suli, can I have the camera bag? Oh, camera bag, yeah. So I'm gonna change to my, nope, not that one. There it is. This is my most widely used lens, guys. This is my 50 millimeter 1.2. And I'm gonna give you this lens. Oh, and lens cap. This is why we have, this is why I have you because my fingers are freezing off right now. All right, so I wouldn't say this is my favorite lens, but this is my most widely used lens, especially if I'm doing any kind of speed posing whatsoever. The 51.2, it just, it keeps up. It's so fast at focusing, even in darker situations like this, where I can shoot really, really quickly, get a really crisp, clean shot, and as many as I need. So let's put them in a position. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna have you do, I want you to just turn in towards each other, and you're gonna take this hand, hold it right there. Now, normally this would be like where her ring would be, so we wanna highlight that. Get a little closer. This is not eighth grade dance, so your hips have to touch. Yep. There we go. <laughs> this hand okay. is gonna come up in here, and okay. that way we can hold your dress or veil a little bit. Cute, and go ahead, let me pull your hair back. That's really pretty. Cool, so I'm just gonna talk to you guys and have you move around and things like that, but let me start back here. Make sure it's still good. Oh, I, you know what? I love exactly what you're doing right there. You can look right at me. That's really pretty. Go ahead, look up at each other. And now as they do this, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm just gonna start circling around them. So these are what I call crop circles. And I just get different angles, see different things going on. That's really cute. You know what, look towards me this way. Actually look past me. And Jordan, you're just gonna look down at her. Yeah. And then look up at me, but just with your eyes. Love it. Perfect, now look at each other one more time. And I'm gonna keep going around and finding different things. Now this time, Jordan, you'll look at me. Jordan, look over towards me. Nice, lean your head all the way towards me. Actually, you know what you can do? Whisper in his ear right there. Tell him, I don't know, what you want for dinner. <laughs> Perfect. Love that. I like rice pudding. You like rice pudding? Good. You have rice pudding? And as I go around, we're getting little different details. Maybe the ring on the hand, little parts of the dress. So I call crop circles. Now from here, we're gonna do what I call head circles. So that's just where they are turning their heads back and forth all over the place. So I'll have you guys both look at each other. Cute. Go nose to nose for one. Nice. And then Jordan, look towards me. And you know what? Get your nose closer to his, because I know your nose is cold, so warm it up in his cheek. There you go. <laughs> and then switch, and you're gonna look at me, Allie, and yep, that's adorable. And then look past me that way. Cute. And then both of you guys look at me. Love it. And my white balance got a little bit too warm, but let me show you what I got. I'll cool it back down. So we're just doing, let's go back to the beginning. I know that was a lot of stuff, but it's speed posing, it's fast. All right, so we've got the two of them. We're just starting with walking around them, getting a lot of different poses, a lot of different looks, a lot of different reactions, little details of hands, love that one walking around, and then this is where we start doing head circles. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is body circles. So if you've ever felt like you've frozen up in front of a client and you don't know what pose to do next, just think of them and start turning one of them in a circle. So this is a pretty typical thing you do. You have them face each other, right? But then you're like, oh crap, what do I do next? So let me just start turning our bride in a circle. So you're gonna stay where you are, Jordan, but you are gonna turn towards me just a little bit, stay like that, and then lean in a little bit towards them. Actually, keep going, keep going a little bit more so you can wrap your hands up this way maybe. Yeah, there you go, and then lean it back. And now just put your arms around her, and now I've got something different, just because we kind of 
went around in a little circle. That's cute. <laughs> but like, oh my gosh, it's a bride and groom in, in New York. That's never happened before. <laughs> cute. Look down kind of that way, Allie, and then just rest your head on her. And then, you know, in any pose, you can kind of just walk around, do the same sort of thing. Allie, look up at me. Actually, look past me that way, and then just tuck your hair behind your ear. Uh, the other ear. Yeah. Go that, look that way. So it's like cute, flirty. There you go. Love that. Jordan, look down. Allie, look at me. Perfect. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So now let's keep going. So turn your body so you're turning that way a little bit more. And the whole dress goes with it. <laughs> there you go. And now just because with her turning, it gives me a second to think. I'm like, okay, well, what can I do next? How can I work with this? Great. That's the back of the dress. Let's work with that. So Jordan, you'll come right here. Taryn, face me. Come a little bit more this way. Love that. Take this hand, loop it through them. You're going to put both hands in your pant pocket. Nice. And look at each other that way. And now I get the chance to fluff out her beautiful dress, which by the way, guys, this is a dress from Kleinfelds. Thank you to Kleinfelds for letting us borrow this beautiful dress. Good. And now look at each other there. So we're just trying to do this as fast as humanly possible. This is not about posing her arm perfectly for 20 minutes because we don't have 20 minutes. We have to get all their photos done in a short amount of time. So how many different variations can we get before they absolutely freeze into little icicles? <laughs> all right, guys, looking at each other. That's really cute. Allie, lean in towards Jordan. Look, oh, actually, Allie, look back at me. That was really cute. Jordan, look at her. Get a little closer to her. Smell her hair. No, really smell it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Does it smell like coconuts? Cute. <laughs> and then same kind of thing. Just doing these little crop circles, getting details. And again, this 50 is just keeping up with me and what I want to photograph. So, and you can get different crops, different variations. I forget if I showed these, but oh my gosh, look how gorgeous she looks. All right, so that's what I do with speed posing. We are just moving as quickly as possible and focusing on the circles, walking around and around to make sure that we get different variations of stuff, close up, far away, and then of course, all the traditional stuff we already started out with and we're done. So I mean, we've been recording for, what, 10 minutes, seven minutes? I can make an album out of all these photos, no problem. So that is speed posing. I know that was a lot. The idea is that you go back and you watch it again and really find a way to apply this, but make sure it's your style. You can do this with any kind of style of photography. So mine is a little bit more light and romantic, but you can still add your flair. Maybe you have a little bit more of a dark and moody, whatever you want. But I guarantee you using a method like this kind of speed posing will help you get all the photos that your clients want and need, sell more albums and have happy clients. I'm so cold, it's unbelievable. Vanessa Joy at Vanessa Joy if you want to find me on Instagram and then head to speedposing.com where you'll see even more about this. And thank you so much guys for freezing with us. We're gonna go inside, I swear. <laughs> All right, thank you, bye.